Let's have a look at the covalent bonding that takes place when hydrogen and oxygen come together to make water, uh, H2O. Uh, so I've drawn my two hydrogen atoms with their single electron uh, in, their outer sh in their only shell. Uh, oxygen, on the other hand, uh, has an inner shell with two electrons, and then another shell with one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm only going to draw the outer shell. One, two, three, four, five, six. It doesn't actually matter where you draw them, it's just uh, to make the diagram look nice. Um, and now, again, the same rule is they want to get a full outer shell. Remember, the first shell can only hold two electrons, so these two hydrogens will be happy if they can just add a, a single electron here uh, or here. Uh, to their shells and then they'll be full. Oxygen needs another two. It needs another two uh, to fill its shell because its shell it's a, is the second shell. So it needs another two uh, electrons to fill it. Um, and so what they can do, given that they all need to gain electrons, they can't bond ionically. Ionic, one loses an electron and gives it to the other. Uh, whereas in covalent, they decide to share. They can share the electrons. So what's going to happen, we're going to draw this like this. We're going to repeat the uh, oxygen atom down here, and I'm going to overlap it uh, with the hydrogens. So the hydrogen uh, electrons are now going to overlap like this. And when they do, this shows that they're sharing their electrons. So hydrogen's electron now goes in the gap here and here. And that means that this electron is actually orbiting both the hydrogen and the oxygen. And that's what a covalent bond is. Um, but they agree to share them. So if hydrogen is giving oxygen its electron, it expects one in return. So oxygen uh, donates an electron there. And the same thing happens here. Uh, so that's two crosses, but there were six originally. So we need to put uh, them back in as well. Uh, so that's now four electrons, five, and six. And now if we count up, we can see that hydrogen has two electrons in its shell, so it's happy because it's, uh, it's, it's the first shell, so it only needs two. Uh, another two there, and oxygen has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight electrons in its shell. Uh, so they all have a full outer shell, which means, they're, which means they are happy. And whenever you see one of these uh, overlaps, uh, remember that that is a covalent, a covalent bond. Um, in, and a, it's, it might even be called a single, a single covalent bond always involves two electrons. In the next video, I'm going to show you uh, what a double covalent bond uh, is.